look at some of the amazing programs that Dawa Center offers, it's actually quite unique. Programs that are not being offered by other organizations or masajid in our communities. One very unique program that Dawa Center has is the Ibrahim House, which is a re-entry program for our brothers and sisters who may have been incarcerated. Headed by our brother Nadir, for over the last 10 years or so, we've been providing a re-entry program to a number of institutions around the community. And the Ibrahim House has been a place of refuge for those individuals coming home, impacting the lives very positively for those individuals that are coming home and those who have been impacted by incarceration. And I'm excited because the Dawa Center has put together this program that continues the outreach that it began a couple decades ago with going to the prisons and doing Dawa with those Muslims who are hungry for and thirsty for it. The Muslims who are returning into society, who are justice impacted, now have really somewhere to call home outside or away from home even, as many people, our Muslims had accepted Islam inside. Um, their environment is not really conducive to an Islamic lifestyle. So to be able to be in an environment away from different vices, whether it's the drugs and alcohol or just negative environment, first of all, means a lot. Second, to be able to help when it comes to employment and helping build leadership skills and self-efficacy. And you see the self-esteem of the brothers really appreciating it as they're learning their Islamic foundation and making sure they're close to where they need to be. They are, mashallah, very active in making da'wah to the community around da'wah center. And they are also very active and they have the best team providing da'wah in prisons. And also when it comes to the halfway house for those uh, brothers and sisters who come out of the prison and they need help in rehabilitation as well as assimilation. Every man and woman should have a foundation. For me, my foundation is Islam. Prison did not reform me. Upon my release, I had my struggles. I had my situations. How am I gonna make this happen? And if it wasn't for the brothers upon my release who received me with open arms at the Dawa Center, I'm not sure that I would have made it. There's nothing that leads me to believe that I could have made it without Allah and without my Muslim brothers. Sometimes after a long period of incarceration, you are unaware of how and where you fit into society. So Ibrahim House uh, helps with the, the correct environment for people who are interested in Islam or Muslims to be in a Muslim environment where they can show me how to do business so that employment was no longer an issue. The basics about Islam that sometimes you really cannot learn in an environment of incarceration and from a book. Um, I learned a lot being at the Ibrahim house for the last few months that I've been there. I've only been a Muslim for going on nine months now and I'm blessed to say that I am part of Islam and Islam and Allah is the greatest. Since I've been at the Ibrahim house, I've been learning about leadership, brotherhood, you know, being a Muslim, learning great things, being around brothers that has my well-being, take care of me, you know. I'm not saying financially or anything like that, it's just we fellowship, you know, I'm learning different things from these brothers that I haven't learned from. You know, I always learn from things in the streets that, you know, wasn't good for me. The most important thing when you are locked in, when you come out, was when you're in jail, everything is, mashallah, is tight and strong, you know, you don't miss a salah. But when you come out, now the distractions hit. So, alhamdulillah, I found the Dawa Center and, you know, they, the community embraced me, you know, it was such a beautiful thing, you know, to really experience it on the out. This, the masjid has uh, invested in this building walking distance from the masjid. So now, you know, brothers can come home and have the opportunity to walk to the masjid for Fajr in the morning. So there's no excuses to be able to miss a Salat. A lot of opportunities that Ibrahim House is providing, uh, coaching the masjid, uh, coaching uh, Muslim businesses, other uh, things to help me facilitate my life, like the bank, uh, help me to also to facilitate my education and the dean, uh, housing, transportation, food. You know, I also help out at the food package that they have. Um, Abraham House is definitely the place, you know, but you know, you, you they will definitely give you some man skills and some, uh, some life skills, so yes. So many of the brothers have 
um, graduated in order to be successful real estate investors or different truck over the road truck drivers, maintaining steady employment and being a positive impact on the community. And one of the things that we know is many people are legally impacted. I mean, we know that black American Muslims in particular, when you think of Islam or you think of Muslims, the, the two most famous in the world were Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali. May peace be upon them both. All right, they had a huge impact and they were both impacted by the legal system. All right, for different reasons. But we know that in Wisconsin, black men get locked up more here per capita than any other state in the country, which says a lot. So it's important to have a support system when brothers return home with a new life and to be within walking distance of the masjid, of the Dawah Center in and of itself is great because now you can walk there and make it for Salat al-Fajr. Gives people a feeling of belonging, being at home because we are indeed brothers, we are indeed looking out for each other. And this is not something that's even citywide or statewide. This is something that you can hardly find nationwide for our dear brothers. The Dawah Center, it means a lot to me because in 1996, I was blessed with the opportunity to come here and take my Shahada. And from there, I had the opportunity to travel abroad and stay over in Egypt for around 15 years where my children, they were born and raised there. And then I came back to the Dawah Center recently. And this is what the Dawah Center means to me. It's a home, away from home. So Alhamdulillah, for having a program and a center like here, right in the middle of the inner city or in Milwaukee for the people like us to have a community that we can come and feel a part of. And even Ibrahim House is a house that has organized by our community. And for those who brothers who are coming out from the prisons and all of that, they come to our center and then Alhamdulillah with an open hand we welcome them. So these are the things that we always strive and stand up for our own brothers and sisters in Islam. And with the Ibrahim House program, this really just shows you the continued dedication to raising more people and more men that stand strong and firm on the deen of Islam that can reach and positively impact more by taking away excuses of what they can no longer do because they have a record. The great part is your future is not determined by your past.